Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me for another Diecast Emporium review. In today's video we're going to take a look at a new addition to the Core Classics line by Diecast Masters. This is the 150th scale Caterpillar 140M motor grader. The item number 85236 with a C at the end. Of course that C designates that it is part of the Core Classics line. Another dead giveaway that it's a Core Classics model is that it comes in a brown outer shipping box as compared to the white outer shipping box that the Highline series comes in. To begin the unboxing, you need to cut open one of the sides, pull out the box that is housed inside the outer shipping box. Now this brown box, as you can see in here, is modeled after the real cat part boxes that you would find at your cat dealer for different parts that would go on the real cat machine. That's the theme behind the brown or tan box. We see 150 a scale. Description of the model again. The item number, Diecast Masters. If you look over here, the 14 and up denotes the age for this model. These are adult Diecast scale model replicas. Please do not buy these for your young child as they are not a toy. On the back of the box, we can see the 140M hard at work in a black and white photo. And on the right side of the box, you can find the machine details such as its dimensions, specifications, and the engine detail on the real machine. All right, let's open one side. And the model will be housed in a pull-apart plastic former, which is typical of all of the Core Classic Series line of heavy equipment. All you need to do is just pull them apart. They aren't taped or anything, so just use a little bit of care when you're pulling them apart. Again, use some care of what you grab onto, as there are some potential breakable and fragile pieces. Lift the grater straight out of the box, and you are ready to display it. Okay, we have the large spin table out today, and that allows us to take a look at some of the decals and details on this model. Now, this is a re-released model, being that it was first done in 2007 under the Norscott brand, and now we find it with Diecast Masters having revised it and put it into the Core Classics line. You can see that it does have the operator figure permanently installed inside the cab. That is the main change and difference from the first version of the model. You'll also find a little bit more metal component than you would find on the older Norscott one with a lot of the accent pieces being plastic on the old version where they are now metal on this version. You can see that there's safety and protection up on top of the cab, a painted orange beacon light, hand and grab rails for access points all over the model. 140M can be found here as well as the cat logo with the power edge stripe. You can see Caterpillar written on the back of the engine housing and if you look really close here you can see VHP plus that was an option found on this grader. Additionally there's some warning labels tucked back here which can be a little bit hard to see but they are yellow and very legible. Other details include the lug nut and wheel detail, as well as the black anti-glare finish on top of not only the engine cover, but also the front part of this motor grader. And here you can see the intricate detail that has gone into the working part of the machine, whether it's the circle mold board or the blade itself. It also comes outfitted with a five-tooth ripper at the back portion of the grater and the lights on the back really look good with the paint that has been applied. That's the details and decals. Let's transition now to functionality. For our functionality test, this is a rubber tired machine. So let's see how it moves. You can see it rolls quite well. It does have working steering on the front axle, as you can see here. But all graders are also articulated, meaning that they have an articulated joint in the center that helps them turn as well, especially around tight corners. Here you can see it turning to driver's left, and here you can see it turning to driver's right. You can see the hydraulic rams back here, which assist in making that happen. If we look at the two rear wheels and the two rear axles, they do oscillate over rough terrain, as they should, so that the grader can go over some rough terrain. Moving towards the rear for functionality, I mentioned during the detail part of the video we have this ripper included on the back. Right now it is up and out of service, but you can also lower it. 
and it will go down to a pretty decent level, which is really good to see. In fact, it goes down so low that uh, it does lift the rear axle up off the ground. Now, as for the main grater functionality, let's test out how that works. You can swivel the blade around almost to 360 degrees, so that works quite well. And you can slide it to either side. Let's go ahead and mimic that as well. You can see the blade. So that is has more of an offset type grating on the blade. You can raise the whole mechanism up, and conversely, you can raise it back down. And there actually is a fair bit of play left and right. So again, in terms of the greater functionality, I really couldn't ask for anything more. It seems to function really, really well. You can even tilt the blade at an aggressive angle forward if you want to mimic it doing an aggressive cut. That is all for functionality on the 140M. Let's take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll see what this machine looks like on a 150th scale low boy. For a transport display, you're going to need a large low boy, such as the one seen here, which is the Diecast Masters XL Specialized Low Boy, the HDG120 version. Now, a lot of times here in America, you will see graders displayed in one of two ways on the low boy trailer. You will see it displayed often like this, with the grader facing forward, and some other times you will see it facing towards the rear. So in terms of being accurate, either direction is correct. We also have our blade turned in all the way to the side so it doesn't hang over. And then we've lowered our ripper down as well over one of the rear axles. Again, just to give this vehicle better weight distribution as it's traveling down the highway. The grader makes an excellent display on the low boy trailer, but you also are going to want to display your grader working. So let's go ahead and show you a couple of those poses. For our working positions, here you can see that we have the ripper lowered down to the ground, and this mimics, of course, it scarifying or ripping the earth up. You can then raise that back up and out of service. Let's lower our main blade on the grater, and what we're going to do now is we're going to mimic a little bit of crab steering, and the way this works is you have an angle off to one side, uh, with the back portion of the grader, but your front wheels are going in a different direction. And the basic reason for this is to cover more ground, as well as you can see how it would be offset in its grading. So again, all of the functionality works excellent on this model. So if you are a stickler for realism in your scale models and you want to use them to depict accurate poses of the real machine, this is an excellent model to do so. In conclusion, the Diecast Masters 150th scale Caterpillar 140M grader that is now in the Core Classic series has every bit of detail and functionality you've come to expect from a Highline series model now in the Core Classic series for a slightly more affordable price. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to us here on the channel as we put out content weekly. Until next time, take care. Be safe, be well. I'll see you in the next review.